morning, everyone, and welcome to Storytime once again. Today, we're going to be reading Albi by Andy Cutbin. And it says here on the cover, a small boy in a weird, wild world. Hmm, let's see what Albi is up to. So it was just another ordinary day. Albi was sitting in his paddling pool when, and there is Albi with a big cowboy hat and a little rubber duck looking very happy in his paddling pool. When, excuse me, asked a hippo, can I borrow a towel? Albi was stunned. What are you doing in my paddling pool? He asked. Your paddling pool, replied the hippo. This is my watering hole. And he picked up the rubber pool and charged off. Wait, shouted Albi. He ran off after the hippo. Oh my goodness, look at that. The hippo who has appeared from nowhere and is really, really big is running off with Albi's pool. Straight into a tree. Ooh, that looks painful. Albi has run into the tree. Ow, shrieked Albi as a zebra holding a TV set fell on top of him. What on earth do you think you're doing? asked the zebra. I'm sorry, said Albi, but I'm hunting for a hippo. Well, you won't find any hippos here, said the zebra. Why not? asked Albi. Because hippos can't climb trees. And look at this, a big massive tree full of zebras. This is a weird world Albi's in. Meanwhile, back indoors, Albi's sister Mary was sitting down to watch her favourite television programme when... Albi! yelled Mary. Where's the TV? Flips! gasped Albi. Scarpa! yelled the zebra and he shot back up the tree. There's the zebra trying to hide himself in the tree. Albi fled into the long grass. Do you mind? cried a herd of buffaloes. It's polite to knock. Look at this. These buffaloes are having a bath. I'm sorry, said Albi panting. My sister's after me. She thinks I've got the TV. Albi stopped. That's our bath, he said, from our bathroom. Ah, yes, said one of the buffaloes. We were borrowing it. But Mary will go mad, splattered Albi. Albi! came Mary's voice. Is that you? Oh, Flips, cried Albi. Run for your lives! Mary waded into the long grass and she yelled and yelled, Albi! Albi! But Albi was already heading for the garage. Woof! said Albi. I'll be safe in here. And there he is in the dark garage. Careful anchovy cocktail, came a voice. Ah, wailed Albi. What are you doing in the freezer? We thought we'd have a party, said the penguin. Lovely weather for it, don't you think? But you can't panic, Albi. My sister will go berserk. We'll invite her too, said another penguin. And look at that. There's a whole fridge full of penguins having a party inside the fridge. This one has an anchovy cocktail. Albi, shouted Mary, opening the door. Where's the TV? Then Mary saw the mess. What on earth are you doing? He gasped. It's not my fault, said Albi. Really, said Mary. It's the penguins in the freezer, said Albi. But it was the zebra who borrowed the TV, sneered Mary. Ah, you've met them too, asked Albi. I was kidding, screamed Mary. It's not fair, said Albi. The hippo started it. He stole my paddling pool. This paddling pool by any chance, screeched Mary. But, 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 said Albi. I've had enough, Albi. I'm telling on you, said Mary and she stomped towards the kitchen door. Look at her, she's really angry. She's so angry. She's got a little dark cloud above her, 
raining on her. I'm in real trouble, sighed Alby. Siddly paddling pool, stupid hippo. Me? Stupid? said the hippo. <gasps> and he's appeared again. Well, you can keep your silly paddling pool. I'm making a much bigger watering hole. Where? asked Alby. Over there, said the hippo. I'm just waiting for it to fill up. Whoosh! And there's this big, big wave. And look, his sister Mary is inside the wave. And so is a teapot and a coffee pot and some fish, a fried egg. Everything is inside this big wave. I'll be! Oh, lips, said I'll be. And that's our story for today. Poor Albi, he was in such a mess with his sister, with the hippo and the zebras and the buffaloes. But what a funny story. I hope you enjoyed it. And please join us again for story time tomorrow.